Boosters, it's good to see all of you again today. For the last two conversations, we've been talking about the importance of a healthy church culture and how the church culture does impact church vision. Prayer is one vital sign of a healthy church culture. It shows our dependence upon God. Wherever we go, we must pray our way there first. We also talked about our joy stat as being another healthy, vital sign of a great church culture. Our joy stat influences the atmosphere of the church and makes us look attractive for the glory of God. Today we want to look at a final sign that shows that we may be a healthy church, and that is leadership. Leadership is so critical for the glory of the Lord. We must understand that in God's kingdom, leadership does matter. Leaders are not Monday morning quarterbacks who criticize calls but have no investment in the game. Leaders are people who rather make the choice to be involved in the dynamics of the game. And true maturity just does not happen, my friends, by sitting and soaking. We must also serve. And those who are leaders are people who understand the importance of investing their time, their talents, and their treasure in the kingdom of God. You know, in our sermon series in the book of Acts, we were reminded of Peter's great sermon in Acts 2 and how that he quoted the prophet Joel, In the last days I will pour out, pour out my spirit, says the Lord, in all people. That means that we do not have to have a theology degree in order to have the Holy Spirit. That means that we do not have to go to Bible college or seminary to have the Holy Spirit. And the scripture informs us that the Holy Spirit is the one who gifts us. That every person who is a born again person and has the Spirit of God, therefore because of that experience, is a person who has a spiritual gift. We need to use our gifts in service for the Lord. We can't sit upon them. And the way that we lead is through our giftedness. Now, I know that some may say, you know, Pastor Dean, yeah, I have not been asked yet to serve. Well, I'm going to put you on notice, as I said in a sermon a couple of weeks ago. You feel free to call me, and we will talk about where you can serve. Without you, we are less than what we can be for the glory of the Lord. But when each of us gets involved in the game, then we will be a great team for the kingdom of God in our community. I trust this morning that you will be willing to take this challenge and prayerfully consider how that you can lead and be involved in serving for the glory of God at DeKalb Wesleyan Church or in your own church community and make a difference for His name. God bless and have a great day.